Hi, Bob the Canadian here. I thought today would be a good day uh, to teach you a little bit about how to tell a good story in English. You know, the, the kind of story that you tell a friend or a co-worker uh, after you've been gone for the weekend or after you did something fun. Um, for myself, last weekend, my wife and I went to Niagara Falls and it was a really fun trip. But if you look at that sentence, if you look at the sentence, last week my wife and I went to Niagara Falls, there's three interesting things about that sentence that you can use to tell your own story. For instance, I started by talking about when we went. I said last weekend. And there's a lot of ways that you can start a sentence when you're talking about time. So for instance, I could say yesterday. I could say a couple days ago. <laughs> I could say last weekend or last week. You notice how I'm getting further back in time uh, with each statement. So I could say last weekend, last week. I could say a couple weeks ago. I could say a few weeks ago. That would be further in the past than a couple weeks ago. Um, and I could say last month, a couple months ago. You can see how I get further and further in the past. But when you tell a small story uh, to people you know, you can, you can always start with the when. So in my story again, I said last weekend. The second part of that sentence, I just said who I was with. So we started with the when, and then I stated the who I was with my wife. So last weekend, my wife and I. The third thing I said was the where. So we have the when, the who, and then the where. So the where was Niagara Falls. So last weekend, my wife and I went to Niagara Falls. So if you're telling your own story, if you're sharing with someone something that you did, that is a great starting sentence. And you should probably practice that a little bit. You should probably write down uh, a few practice sentences like, a couple of days ago, my friend and I went to a restaurant for dinner. So it's the same format, the, uh, the when, the who, and the where. Or a few months ago, my dad and I went to Portugal. So that would be a great example of a starting sentence again. After you've introduced the when, the who, and the where, you then want to say a few things about the trip. So last weekend, my wife and I went to Niagara Falls. While we were there, we went for a couple of walks. We saw Niagara Falls. And we went to some of the popular tourist areas. So you'll notice something common about all those sentences and that's that they're in the past tense. So we're talking about something that happened uh, and something that's now over. You're going to want to be able to use the past tense in English. Uh, an easy way to remember that is a lot of the English verbs when they end in ed are in the past tense. There's some that are irregular, but if you say things like, we watched all of the other tourists as they took pictures. Um, when you use the ed verbs, the verbs that end in ed, you're speaking in the past tense. Uh, and then when you're done uh, telling your story, when you get to the point um, where you've shared enough information, uh, you want to finish off by saying, uh, the reason you're telling the story usually is because of how you felt. So you would want to say things like, uh, my wife and I really enjoyed the trip. It was a lot of fun for us to go to Niagara Falls. You might even want to recommend whatever it is that you did to someone else. So again, you want to start by stating the when, then you want to state the who, uh, and then you want to state uh, the the where. Did I get that right? I'm kind of getting it confused in my own mind. So here's a few more examples. You could say, last year, 
my brother and I went to Italy. While we were there, we visited Rome, we visited uh, the southern part of Italy, uh, and we visited some family. I'm not Italian, but anyways. Uh, while we were there, we had a good time, uh, and I would recommend that trip to anybody. So that's a great little story right there. Um, let's do another one. Um, let's say a few months ago, so that could be three or four months ago, a few months ago, my dad and I went to Portugal, and while we were there, we visited his cousins. They have a beautiful farm in Portugal where they have lots of sheep and goats. It was so nice there, I would definitely go again sometime. So again, the same format. I'm, I'm kind of introducing the story with the, the when, the who, the where sentence. Uh, I'm saying a few things about what happened while we were there. Uh, and then I'm kind of just making a comment uh, in general about how it made me feel. Anyways, it's always good to learn how to tell a little story in English. I hope that uh, you take some time uh, just to write down a few of these. If you want a challenge, I would say write down uh, about three or four stories. Make sure they're true, uh, in English of course, uh, and then memorize them. Um, memorize little parts of your life that uh, you would be sharing naturally if you had an English conversation. Um, so write down a few things, a few things that you've done in the past year or two. Um, write them down uh, so that you can uh, be ready. Uh, I'm always uh, big on, which means I, I recommend uh, that you're ready for your English conversations, that you, uh, you always memorize a few interesting details about yourself. You should memorize, so it means you have them memorized in your head, and be ready to share a few stories about yourself in English. Um, just so that when you do happen to get into an English conversation, uh, then you're ready. It's always good to be ready. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Learn English with Bob the Canadian. Thanks so much for watching uh, and going for a little walk with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up. And uh, I hope you have a good week ahead of you. I hope your English is just improving every single week. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a good week and I'll see you Friday uh, in the live stream. Have a good day.